Welcome to the 22nd annual SEPCO Chilliwack Agricultural Tour, where we showcase and feature the best of Chilliwack agriculture. I'm Stan Vanderwall with the Rainbow Greenhouses. Well, it started about 38 years ago, it was my wife and I. We started with 3,000 square feet in Rosedale, and uh, it's grown a little bit now where we have four locations, still have our Rosedale site where I grew up, and today we're three sites in Chilliwack and one site in Southern Alberta. First of all, it's really grown in a good way. So we've seen a lot of growth in the industry over the years, and um, we've also seen change in the industry. So when you look at change, you've seen really big greenhouses become a lot bigger. You've also seen specialty greenhouses really focus on specialty, and I think um, we've seen a lot of um, adaptation to the economies of scale for larger operators and specialty operators catering to specific, um, say, unique products and that, and that's, that's how the industry's really evolved over the years. We don't talk about it so much in varieties. I think the biggest thing we see is probably what's been the most successful is we've seen a lot of growth in container gardening. So container gardening really fits today's world. We have smaller um, spaces where we're living, so we need uh, balcony gardens, we need hanging baskets. We also see a big increase in indoor plants. So we've seen a new generation really tap into plants again and, and it makes it for a happy living space. I would say some of the trials that have not been successful is trying to do too many things. So we've, um, we've learned over the years is to focus on what we're good at and um, try not to be everything to everyone. So water use is um, managed through recycling. Biggest way we say is all the water we use is recycled. And by doing that, we're reducing the water consumption by 80% of what a non-recycled water management system would be. So we do the same thing when it comes down to recycling plastics. Recycling the plastics, reusing them, allows for good stewardship. Well, I guess always number one is enough staff, enough employees. You know, particularly I want to say in the skilled positions today, more and more challenging to find the skill sets we need. There's a lot of automation in the sector, so needing the skills, having the ability to basically lead teams, those kind of things, that's a key thing. Also keeping up with today's um, Regulations, environmental stewardships, those kind of things are very challenging today and increasingly on our radar as focus items. I think it's twofold. I think one is, is we want to share with the public more and more of what we're doing, our practices, how we do things, the story behind it. Um, I think there's so um, much mystery attached to, let's say, a big greenhouse operation or even farms in general today where the consumer doesn't really know where the food comes, where the plants come from, and they may not know the great stewardship practices, the environmental impact in a good way that farms have today. The very fact that farmers are stewards of the land and of the animals and everything they do. First of all, Chilliwack has an optimal climate. We might be a little bit light in sunshine at times, but we do have a mild climate. We have a great um, access to market in Chilliwack, so we're close to, all, to, uh, to a lot of population. And that allows us to go south, it allows us to go east. It's a great place to be. There's tons of opportunity out there for the next generation. I, I would say, um, a lot of people would say times are difficult. They are, but opportunity is much more so than it's ever been. We got this thing called Google so you can learn everything easily. So lots of access to information today.